Hey, bud. Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's a sweet kitty cat. Uh-huh. Oh, I love you, Sagan. You're a good cat. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday. Uh, we had an interesting morning. Uh, we did breakfast stream. No problems today, for whatever reason. Uh, but yesterday, I had noted that the... Um, uh, the ISP guy came. Was it yesterday he came? Yeah. Yeah, he came yesterday. One of the one of the people from the ISP came yesterday, and uh, wasn't here very long. But said everything looked normal. Thought it was something with the neighborhood, and that the mainline guys would be out. Now it's important to note that when that guy came yesterday, we didn't get a call about that. I had called tech support, and they said they will call you before they come out. Okay. Well, sometime later, a guy just showed up. We never got a call, but he came, looked at it, and left. Today, this morning, um, during breakfast stream, like as we're getting close to, to the end of it, there's, you know, a uh, ring at the doorbell and we go get it and it's, you know, the ISP guy. So that was, uh, that was funny. The, I, I think the, the breakfast stream is probably worth watching if just for that, um, so you can see the bewilderment and confuzzledness of Mallory and myself when we're in the middle of doing breakfast stream and there's an you know, ring at the doorbell. But we, you know, we handled it and then ended the stream. Um, it was just funny because people were donating to play <laughs> Raisins in My Toast um, loudly, probably confusing the heck out of that, that poor ISP guy. But um, anyway, uh, it was frustrating that they didn't call. Why don't they ever call? I'm assuming that there's no, like, good correspondence between the people in the office and the people in the field. But anyway, um... Despite showing up just randomly, uh, the guy was super nice and super helpful because uh, he came in and actually like hooked up his little fancy machine to our line and did all these tests and, and things like that. And he said, you know, basically it didn't look like there was anything wrong here at this location. He also had his laptop, which could pull up information about uh, about the node for the entire neighborhood. And he said that, from what he can tell there is something wrong with the neighborhood node um, that would be bad enough where we would basically, you know, lose internet. Um, that's how bad it is. And he said that it's caused by um, ingress, which is signal leakage. So, for, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood, there is some sort of uh, signal noise or something in the ground or whatever that is feeding into the lines for the neighborhood as a whole and it's affecting my internet and I'm the one that's noticing because it's not bad enough again I, I think I said this yesterday it's not bad enough for you know someone just using Facebook or whatever to know this but if you upload stuff all the time and you know what your speeds are supposed to be etc you're gonna know this so uh, that's what he said it all made a lot of sense to me he showed me a lot of the graphs and stuff he said that um, they're going to have, he said, finding the problem can be really difficult, but he's going to come back tomorrow because he looked at the chart and he, he said that it looked like there was kind of a pattern where it was like usually between like four and eight, sometimes like goes as late as 10 or 12, but it usually starts around four o'clock. He said he'd come back and test around that time. Now, I, I wasn't really clear if that meant he would be in here testing again or if he could be outside testing or whatever, but um, he said he's going to be testing it tomorrow, so... He said it could take a while to find out where it is, you know, coming from, he said, but he suspects it's probably, like, one specific house in the neighborhood that is doing something, you know, to cause this interference. And that lines up pretty well with what we've thought because, um, again, we've lived here for over two years and it's been fine, and this started about a month ago, so it might have been something new to the environment, either someone moved in and uses something or whatever in the past month that's causing the issue. Shrug. I'm just glad that they're working on it. You know, they're they're going to be dealing with it. I also inquired about fiber because we don't have fiber in the neighborhood, and I was like, "Is there any chance of us ever getting fiber?" He says, "Oh yeah." And I was like, "Oh." He said, "It's going to be like longer than two years." He said, "But eventually, yeah." And I was like, "Oh well, that I don't know if we'll be here in two years, <laughs> but it's nice to know that eventually, you know, like my parents will have fiber, so that's good." Uh, anyway, um, we just finished lunch. Um, I don't think I ever showed it, but um, Mal made uh, Swedish meatballs 
last night. Yep. It wasn't on the vlog. And it's still not on the vlog because I'm filming after we ate them. Uh, she just made some Swedish meatballs. We're trying to get rid of the, some, uh, some of the stuff in the pantry. And uh, one of the things in there is egg noodles. A lot of egg noodles. A, a surprising amount of egg noodles. So uh, we have, you know, tr we're trying to make food to get rid of the other food. And Swedish, meat go Swedish meatballs goes good with egg noodles. So that's what we made. And it's been delicious. We had it last night and today. And there's so much of it, oh my God, that we're probably going to be eating it for um, a while. Anyway, so that's been uh, that's been our morning. Uh, with any luck, we'll we'll cross our fingers for a good afternoon and uh, and evening. It's time to play. Guess what Mallory made? Here's your chance. Type in the comments now. Are you ready? It's time to reveal what Mallory made. It's leek and potato soup. But if you guessed leek and potato soup, you're technically wrong. It's leek onion. And potato soup. It was supposed to be leek and potato soup, but um, we didn't have enough leeks. I, I don't know if I'm crazy or not. Mal felt the same way. When we were at the store the other day, we went to buy leeks. It feels like we've always bought leeks as a bundle. Yeah. With like, you get multiple leeks with a with a gum band, and they weren't in a gum band. They didn't have a gum band. They weren't in a bundle when we got them the other day. And Mal asked the guy, I was like, are these priced right? Like, this is per leek? And the guy was like, mm-hmm. And me and Mal just kind of looked at each other like, what? It made me feel like an idiot. Like, <laughs> leeks are too expensive. I but mean, I felt like they kind of were because we were going to get like a bundle of leeks. And then after... Which is normally three or four. Yeah. And yeah. then they were priced individually and me and Mal were like, what? Who does this to leeks? <laughs> but uh, because of that, we, we were like, well... How many leeks do we truly need? And because they were all the same price, because it was priced per leak. And some of them are this big around. Exactly. Some of them are like this big exactly. around. This has yeah. got to be a mistake. Yeah. I feel like we've bought them with a gum band before. Yeah, we have. Anyway, I so just we don't went. Remember how much they were? So they we were. we went for the biggest leaks. Obviously, I was like, well, all right. How many leaks do we truly need? You know. So we decided to only get two leaks and just get the biggest ones we could. But Mouse said it still wasn't enough. Didn't feel like enough. So she used up uh, like half an onion that we had from another dish, but it uh, looks good. We also got some uh, some sourdough bread. Oh snap! It's so exciting. I'm really excited about this now. It's um it's it's continued to be cold. Um, pretty like like actual cold. We had cold. flurries last night. Yeah, like I know that Tihi Southerners, but like no seriously, it's actually been like 30 degrees here. Yeah. Um, which is close to freezing. So you know, hey, it's cold. I mean, we, I think 50 or 60 degrees is also cold, but that means that 30 is really cold. So, I've just been trying to, you know, stay inside and stay warm. It looks really hot. It is. Mmm. It's good, though. Mmm. I like, honestly, anything with potatoes in it. <laughs> I'm super on board. I can't wait to do exactly what you're doing. That is the proper way to enjoy soup. the best soup. way to enjoy soup. Oh my god, that's just like, it's my, there's occasions where I'll go to a restaurant where it's like, you'll get like a soup with your entree, and they'll bring bread to the table, and I won't even eat the entree. Like, I'll just sit there and dip so much bread in my soup until I'm full, the entree comes, and I'm like, just put it in the box. Really, it's like a dip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the kind of life I want to live, and I'm about to live it for dinner. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Um, we we've been working a lot, um, and it's been it's been going really good. It's been going really good. I've I've been focused really hard on um, trying to get things done for December. Uh, me and Dan both, obviously, because Dan's the other side of the operation. And uh, I've been doing really good. He's been doing really good, and uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm getting a lot of stuff done, and I'm happy about it. And um, that means I can. Uh, continue to divert resources to projects that need them. And that's the most important thing of all. But we won't be doing that tomorrow, because tomorrow is Star Wars Day, where we're going to watch the original trilogy back-to-back. -back. Starting early. That should be fun. I wonder if the ISP guy will stop by. I wonder if he likes Star Wars. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow. Shadow.